sometimes we just get lucky and an automaker blesses us with a gift from heaven. And this gift is dubbed a sleeper. So in this list, we're gonna cover five sleepers and an honorable mention, baby, that are all over 10 years old and will still walk on pretty much any car on the streets today. This is my favorite list I've made yet and I'm freaking stoked. But the real question is, are you? Let's go. Have you guys ever heard of a shag wagon? Well, it's a wagon, hence the name. But according to the Urban Dictionary, it's a car that you bang some gears into the right slots. If if you're picking up what I'm throwing down. <laughs> Sound like fun, right? There is no doubt that the Volvo V70R will fulfill all your wildest dreams. They've got plenty of space for action. You sneak under the radar wherever you go. And you got a turbo five cylinder powerhouse sitting under the hood, pushing out, oh, you know, 300, wait, 300 horsepower, which is ready for all sorts of hoons. Putting the power to the ground is the Haldex all wheel drive system. Zero to 60 comes in just six seconds. This is straight up one of the best sleepers to ever have existed. It's so, so, so boring to look at. Like, kind of like me, but uh, more like, like me. That people will literally look right past you. That is, until you roast them. Man, imagine all the girls that you could pick up in that thing. Let's take a quick look and see how much you can pick one up for. Aha, look at these. Okay, we're on car gurus and you can see that they're under 5,500 bucks for one of the cheapest one in the USA. And then they start to dip up to about nine grand. Now take a look at like this red one here. It's an 04 V70R and it kind of looks like the station wagon that your best friend's hot mom would drive. I've always been a big fan of these, uh, kind of that rear chop. They look somewhat sporty, but at the same time, oh, they're a station wagon. I mean, what else do you have to say? But uh, yeah, they're definitely sleepers. And you can pick them up for under six grand all day long. <laughs> When you think of Mazda, you usually think a boring grocery getter made for a family of five and the occasional chihuahua or two. And yeah, you're kind of right. But back in 2006, they made something a little bit different and it was called the Mazda Speed 6. Like the V70R, the Mazda Speed 6 came with all wheel drive. And knowing Mazda, this is pretty surprising. Under the hood sat a turbo four cylinder with an impressive 274 horsepower, making the dash to 60 in only five and a half seconds. There is a pretty big aftermarket scene, so the possibilities are pretty much endless. So please, baby, please, if you're gonna do one thing to these cars, put on an exhaust. And something that you probably didn't know is that these cars can keep up with those Evos and STIs. When done up right, you can't ever, ever look down upon turbo four cylinders. I mean, what do you think? Do you think the turbo four cylinder platform is the best tuner platform out there. So since we're all seriously interested in one of these now, let's scratch that itch and see how much they're going for. Okay, so mid 2000s Mazda Speed 6, specifically 2006 was the first year of them. And as you now know, they are awesome sleepers. And look at that, 3,300 bucks. Let's check that one out. All right, 3,300 bucks. How many miles does this bad boy have on it? Two owner, 190,000 miles. What's awesome is the six speed manual, black on black. I mean, this is, it's a sleeper. <laughs> for under 3,500 bucks. The first of two ideal cars on this list that the manufacturer joined Porsche to create a total masterpiece. The Mercedes 500E is number three on this list of sleepers. At a quick glance, this car has a very modest appearance and that that's where it gets you because it has super cop power. What sets this car apart from every other car on this ideal list is the fact that two awesome German manufacturers decided that a five liter V8 would be the perfect drivetrain for it. Boy, oh boy, did they strike the nail on the head. A total of 326 horsepower roars out the back, hitting 60 miles an hour in just 6.1 seconds. The car was mostly hand built and it took 18 days of blood, sweat, and tears to get that thing done. And just eight to 12 cars were assembled every single day. Just eight to 12, that's like not a lot. In the exact same factory that built the Porsche 959. So if you want a classy, uber sleek luxury sedan that's secretly a wolf in sheep's clothing, the 500E is your holy grail. I mean, can we all agree that a V8 never gets old? Jiminy shivers. 
As for how much you can find a clean one for, let's take a look. Well, 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 as you can see here, guys, the 500E sedan goes from 26,999 all the way up to whew, almost 60,000 bucks. So checking out this cheapest one in the USA. And as you can see here, big body bends. Oh, oh wait, white wolf, huh? But this has that five liter V8 and has enough space for you and all of your fun activities. Uh, but this car here has 170,000 miles on it. It's automatic like they all are and gets under 20 miles to the gallon on the highway. So not a bad car, but definitely a bona fide sleeper. We're going back to back, baby, because this is the second car to be co-produced with Porsche. The Audi RS2 is probably one of Audi's greatest creations. The best part was the people that didn't know what they were looking at only saw a boring little 90s Audi wagon. Wind the clock back to 1994, and my boys at Audi came up with a brilliant idea. They thought, why not create the first Audi wagon and then release it to the public? And fuck, bro, the world was not ready. This station wagon had a zero to 60 time of just 4.8 seconds. It was powered by a beautifully designed inline five, which of course was paired with Audi's all wheel drive quattro system. So let's just say that launches are hilariously fun. And personally, my favorite part is the fact that this car came in the gorgeous color called Nagaro Blue. And if I could own just one car for the rest of my days, it'd probably be this one. Mostly because I'm a Porsche fan, and this RS2 had so many Porsche 911 parts thrown all over it, including the side mirrors, wheels, turn signals, and fog lights. This thing only got more and more sexier. Wait, that that doesn't even make sense. Even though they never made these cars to be sold in the United States, they are now finally available for import overseas, along with these four other cars. Since I've piqued your interest, how much does one of these actually cost? A lot. Well, you know, when you're looking at a car on a site called Classic Driver, it's probably going to be a lot of money. And as you can see here on the right hand side, it is over 68,000 US, but stop it. This thing is absolutely stunning. Ugh. Now you gotta remember that this car is 68 something thousand dollars and you still have to import it. So uh, you're looking at a pretty penny for a Nagaro Blue left hand drive RS2 Avant, definitely an ideal car. Now, before we get into the final car on this list that I know you haven't heard of, here is the Honorable Mansion. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know that the GMC Cyclone isn't a car, but it is way too good not to talk about. I mean, how often do you come across a truck? A truck that'll give the supercars of its time a run for their money. This fucking guy right here. No, no, just kidding. The Cyclone, man, I'm just getting way too full of myself. At the time of its inception, it was the fastest pickup truck in the world. And fuck the Ford Raptor, this thing was the real deal. The turbocharged V6 made 280 horsepower and 350 foot pounds of torque, smashing a zero to 60 time of 4.3 seconds. Didn't you hear that right? Yeah, 4.3 seconds. It's faster than a Ferrari Testarossa, faster than a Ferrari 348 TS, faster than a Lamborghini Countach, which is actually one of the worst supercars ever made and you might wanna go check out why. But just compare this Cyclone to literally some of the fastest cars today. The Dodge Hellcat does zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. Less than a second faster than the Cyclone, which is a truck and came out in 1991. I mean, that thing has supercar power. My hair, where, where is my hair? Ah, there it is, it's, it's right there. Mm. But the real question is, how much money can you get a Cyclone for? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you could get this Cyclone in any color as long as it was black. And as you can see here, 28, 750, 29, 31, 34, 35. So you're looking at high 20s. Let's check out the cheapest one in the USA. Woo, auto addicts, huh? But yeah, it is straight up a sleeper. I mean, people from even 10 years ago wouldn't even know what the heck this thing was, but that V6, Turbocharged. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what happens when you take a bunch of Carls and combine it with a fancy looking flower? Well, you get the Lotus Carlton. <laughs> um, I'm so, I'm sorry. That that was really that was really really bad. I'm 
I'm, I'm sorry. Anyways, this badass sedan from the 90s is a lot like nothing else. Lotus took an Opal Omega, also known as the Vauxhall Carlton, and threw just about everything and anything they could at it, including the kitchen sink, to create a massively upgraded model that could compete with supercars <laughs> at the time. A 377 horsepower turbocharged inline six powered the rear wheels. And uh, that fully built motor had more than enough power to burn the rubber off the rear wheels. Oh, and to top this off, stopping power came from some massive AP racing brakes. And you know, the engine is casually mated to a six speed manual transmission from the Corvette ZR1. And with only 950 of these ever produced, they definitely sound expensive, but are they? 3.6 liter turbo, 377 horsepower, rare, immaculate, for sale. Oh, look at that Carlton. Mm, that thing is pretty sweet. Nice interior. Look at that fully built motor and some uh, pretty much racing suspension. But how much do you think this is? Well, 120,000 pounds. And that equates to, I don't know, like 150,000 US dollars. So yeah, expensive? I think yes. So yeah, definitely expensive and totally badass just like these five fun daily drivers that are surprisingly cheap. Or you should check out what YouTube recommends you watch next. Oh, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. But either way, you can't lose. And as always, keep living that ideal lifestyle.